What's up guys and welcome to my next lecture on this series. In this video, I will cover what will happen when a grunt leaves the company. There are four different scenarios. Resigned without cause or with good cause and fired without cause or with cause. From the grunt fund's perspective, the situation in the red boxes are very similar and also the green boxes lead to the same consequences. Let's start with resignation without cause. For example, grunts might lose interest in the project or the family asks them to leave the adventure and gets a day job. Another scenario is fired with cause. This can happen due to the serious misconduct such as fighting or illegal drugs at the workplace. From the grunt fund's perspective, both of these scenarios are very similar as the grunt broke the commitment with the company. In this case, the time contribution of the grunt should be removed from the table and any cash or business enabling equipment contribution should be downgraded to the real value. For example, if a grunt puts 5k cash in the business, there is no multiplier as a reward and he gets pi equal to 5k cash. The company should also reserve the right to buy back the pi. Finally, the grunt must sign a non-compete agreement. These consequences might sound a bit harsh, but leaving the company in the lurch is very disruptive for an early stage startup and the company might not be able to recover again. In fact, these consequences create incentives not to leave. The next scenario is resignation with cause. This can happen due to different reasons. For example, if a grunt joined as a VP of R&D and a few months later he is asked to be in charge of sales and marketing, he can leave with good cause as he didn't sign up for this. Or a company might move far away and the grunt may not be able to commute. Or a grunt might sadly become disabled or die. The last scenario is fired without cause. For example, when the company pivots, the grunt's skills might not be needed anymore. Again, these two scenarios are similar from the grunt fund's perspective. In this case, the grunts can keep their whole pie and the company should be able to buy it back to remove the absentee owners. Also, they shouldn't sign non-compete agreement as the company forced them to leave. Again, this might sound a little bit harsh from the company's perspective, but it makes perfect sense as it's not fair to penalize a grunt who dedicated his time and energy in good faith to the company. Okay, that's it for this lecture. In the next video, I will cover when to stop using the grunt fund. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.